Okay, we just looked at two ways to reduce a fraction to simplest form, and this is the third way. And this is the approach that I think is the easiest and probably the most useful and most common. And that is to simply use the fundamental principle of fractions. And remember what that means. That's the idea that the numerator and denominator can be divided by the same number. And so let's do that. And this approach is fast and flexible. And I'm going to work through these examples and explain my thinking as I go. Okay, first example, 20 over 24. When I look at this, I notice that those are both even numbers. And even numbers are always divisible by 2. So let's divide them both by 2. 20 divided by 2 is 10. And 24 divided by 2 is 12. Now I have a fraction that's a little bit simpler. And I look at this, and 10 and 12, again, those are both even numbers. So let's divide them by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. And I'm done. So I do it in two steps, but each step was pretty quick and easy. 5 is prime, so I can't divide it by anything. So this is reduced to simplest form. Okay, next example, 76 over 100. Okay, let's do the same thing. 76 and 100 are both divisible by 2 and dividing by 2 is pretty easy when you see even numbers you can just divide them by 2 76 divided by 2 is 38 and 100 divided by 2 is 50 again these are both even numbers 38 divided by 2 is 19 and 50 divided by 2 is 25 19 is prime so we're done we can't divide it by anything else, so that's it. 19 25ths is simplest form. Okay, 240 divided by 840. Okay, what stands out here are the zeros on the ends. Both of these numbers are obviously divisible by 10, so let's do that. 240 divided by 10 is 24, and 840 divided by 10 is 84. Now I have two numbers that are both even numbers so those are both divisible by 2 so let's do that divide them by 2 20, 24 divided by 2 is 12 and 84 divided by 2 is 42 again both of these numbers are divisible by 2 so 12 divided by 2 is 6 and 42 divided by 2 is 21 now I can't divide both of these numbers by 2, but they are both divisible by 3. So let's divide the top and the bottom by 3. Uh, 6 divided by 3 is 2, and 21 divided by 3 is 7. And we're done. 7 is prime, so we can't divide this by anything else, so we're done. Now you see this approach here. Each step along the way results in a fraction that was a little bit simpler than the one before it. And each step along the way was pretty easy. And that's what makes this approach uh, fast and useful, is you can look at your original fraction and whatever comes to mind, like if you started by saying, okay, both of those are even, let's divide them both by 2, that would work. Or in this case, we divided them both by 10, and that worked too. But you keep finding common factors of the top and the bottom just one step at a time and dividing until you get to a number that can't be simplified any further. Okay, let's do a few more. Uh, 75 over 125. What I notice about these is the 5 on the end. Any number that ends in 5 is divisible by 5. So both of those are divisible by 5. 75 divided by 5 is 15 and 125 divided by 5 is 25. Okay, again, look, both of these numbers are divisible by 5 again. So let's do that again. 15 divided by 5 is 3, and 25 divided by 5 is 5. And we're done. Okay, a couple more. All right, 32 over 512. Okay, both of these numbers are divisible by 2. So 32 divided by 2 is 16. And 512 divided by 2 is 256. 
Now, as long as we have even numbers, we can keep on dividing, dividing by 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8, and 256 divided by 2 is 128. Then 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 128 divided by 2 is 64. I still have even numbers, so I'm going to continue dividing by 2 here. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 64 divided by 2 is 32. And then 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 32 divided by 2 is 16. So 1 16th is the answer. And then one more. 90 and 240. Okay, again, they both end in 0. They're both divisible by 10. So 90 divided by 10 is 9, and 24 divided by 10, or 240 divided by 10 is 24. Now I can't divide these numbers by 10 again, and they're not both even numbers. I can't divide them by 2, but they are both divisible by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 24 divided by 3 is 8, so 3 eighths. So that, that's the approach. The fundamental principle of fractions is that the numerator and denominator can be divided by the same number. And so what you do is find a number, any number, that both the numerator and denominator can be divided by. And then proceed a step at a time. And each step along the way makes your problem a little bit simpler until you get down to your final answer which will always be the simplest form of the original fraction.